let's take a look at problem 73a a very interesting problem what we're going to do in this problem is we're going to have the company they're going to sell 8,000 units and we're going to look at what happens if that year they produce 10,000 units what is their cost and income statement look like and what if they overproduced way overproduced and they made 20,000 units when really you know they're only going to sell eight but they just overproduced for some you know they misjudged uh, the, the consumer demand and what we're going to find is weirdly net income profit is higher when the company overproduces and so that's this is a weird thing about absorption costing that this problem illustrates and i think it illustrates it well august company began operations at the start of the year details about the company's activities are below and so we got no beginning of it's a new company a number of units produced well under first scenario be 10,000 we'll look at when they produce 20 number of units sold only eight so you know under you make 10 you sell eight you're pretty happy you make 20,000 you sell eight you sold less than half what you made you're not so happy our sales price is a hundred dollars a unit our ending inventory uh well it's going to be different depending on whether we made 10 or 20,000 units, uh, material used, labor, overhead, these are all variable production costs. And then our fixed overhead is a fixed production cost, but under absorption costing, it's part of the cost of product, variable selling them in, fixed selling them in. Okay. Uh, so first question says, calculate the cost under absorption costing, uh, assuming the company produced 10,000 units. Okay. So if we made 10,000 units, uh, let's see our cost is material plus labor plus over at 25 plus 12 plus 10. That's uh 47. That's our variable cost. And then we go 150 grand divided by the number of units made 10,000. So it's going to be uh, 150 divided by 10 is 15. So 47 plus 15. What is that? $62 a unit. Uh, and if we had made 20 and here's where this kind of quirky thing's going to come in, uh, our fixed costs spread out over more units. So our cost actually goes down here. And so it's 47 plus 150 divided by 20 in this case, 150 divided by 20,000 is 7.5. So, uh, it's 47 plus 7.5. It's $54 and 50 cents. So this is $62 even, $54 and 50 cents per unit. Um, so now we're really gonna illustrate the point. Uh, assuming no taxes, prepare an income statement under 10,000 units, so $62 units and under 20,000. And it's important to say it's the exact same company, right? exact same product exact same sales exact same expenses exact same costs under one scenario though we make a heck of a lot more units than under the other so uh 10, units uh produced we're doing two side by side and this one's going to be twenty thousand units produced uh okay uh, so we'll do two income statements. So our sales minus our cost of goods sold is gross profit minus our selling and admin. Uh, yeah, selling and admin. Sorry, that and is so ugly. And oh, that's so much more beautiful. Minus our selling and admin expenses equals our operating income, but since there's no taxes, it's also our net income. Okay, so if I make 10,000 units, what are my sales? Well, I'm selling 8,000 units at $100 a unit, that's $800,000 in sales. My cost of goods, well, I $62 a unit times 8,000 units sold, 62 times 8,000, $496,000. 800 minus 496 is $304,000 in gross profit. Selling and admin expenses, $5 a unit sold. So five times eight is 40,000 plus 100, it's 140,000. And 304 minus 140 is 164. Okay, so we make $164,000, what a tidy profit. Now what we find is if we just overproduce, we make more money. 
and that is not good that is weird uh so uh, scenario two i sell the exact same i sell eight thousand units at a hundred dollars a unit i sell eight hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff but because my fixed costs spread out over, over stuff i sold but also stuff that's in inventory so it's not expensed right it's it's sitting in inventory as an asset because those fixed costs spread out over more units i look more profitable uh, so let's do the math. I sold 8,000 units, and if I make 20,000 units, my cost is 54.50. So 8,000 units divided by 54.5, or not divided by times, 8,000 units times 54.5, $436,000. So 800 minus 436 is gives me a gross profit of 364 our selling in a min just stayed the same five dollars a unit times uh eight thousand units is 40 and a hundred thousand dollars of fixed selling in a min so it's 140 364 minus 140 is 224 and you can see if i just overproduce sixty thousand dollars more profit right more net income if I just make too many <laughs> units. Uh, so this illustrates something in, in any textbook that goes into variable versus absorption costing will say, one of the weird things about absorption costing is if you just make more units, you look more profitable. The problem is in the long run, if you overproduce, 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 you're sitting on extra inventory and, it, and just carrying extra inventory has huge costs and huge risks. Companies don't want to do it. But if you're a manager in the very short term and you're incentivized by profits, here's an incentive to overproduce. So why are the answers from in part B so different? The reason is you produce more fixed costs spread out over more units and they spread out over units that weren't sold and therefore not tracked through cost of goods sold they don't find their way on the income statement so you're keeping some of your fixed costs off of the income statement you're looking better uh, in that scenario why is this difference a potential problem there's an incentive to overproduce inventory at least in the short run in the long run it's going to catch up to you but it's just a weird quirk of absorption costing. So there you go, we've solved 7-3-A. It's not a weird quirk to hit one of those buttons on your way out of here. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye. The next video in our series is right up here and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.